How are you today, Veronica? Uh, today, a little bit busy too, <laughs> but better than yesterday. <laughs> All right. Good. Are you, by the way, are you going to work tomorrow? No, no, I work in my home. Uh -huh, but no, but uh, uh, even from... No, tomorrow, no. Oh, um, no, because there are some uh, uh, companies and enterprises that are not working tomorrow. Okay, so that, uh, because tomorrow is May the 1st. Yeah, is this. Probably. No, it's, it's holiday, no. Uh -huh, uh -huh. No, okay. but the... Uh, In your case, it's different. Yeah, because the 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 content, yeah. Okay, good. It's different. It's different. Good. And how's how's your English class? How do you how do you feel in this level? Um, a little bit difficult because it's, I I try to do the 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 homework the, today, but mm -hmm. um, some some fresher verbs. Uh, a little confused then. <laughs> oh yes, yeah, yeah. Like uh, I confused the the, for example, turn down with turn off, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. for example. Oh, ah, okay, uh, okay. I confusing in the lesson, but now mm -hmm. I understand the difference. <laughs> okay, good. Yes, I have because down is like you know like reduce right something, and yeah. off is like when you finish, right? To finish, okay. Yeah. They turn off the TV, so no more TV. And turn down the TV is the, the volume, right? The sound. So then sometimes sometimes you can apply some, some, logic, some, some logic. Hello, yeah. Yes, and then, uh, but in other cases, it's more difficult, right? But no, like the example with the lights. Only you can use turn off, right? Mm -hmm. Yes, turn off. down, and then and then I confuse it. <laughs> exactly, exactly, right? Yes. Now but, I understand the difference. Okay, and you know that, for example, before there was another one that depending depending on the type of switch, that's the the verb that you use, right? For example, when you say turn, it's because you can turn, right? Turn down and turn uh -huh. off. Uh, but now people okay. people use it in different ways because there was another that you had to push. And they say push yeah. on and push off. Right? And, yeah, because it's, the, it's digital. Uh huh. And there is another one that you have the switch, the switch that you have on the wall switch on and switch off. Oh. Uh -huh. So then also yeah. that depends on the on the type of switch that you use to to do something to turn on to turn off so then that's the the one that you use okay so that is the okay. usually now people use more more commonly now the people use turn okay turn on turn off but the, if you want to be more specific you can use the other verbs like push switch and turn okay. and now you can use and now you can use click with the computer, right? Click on, click, click off. Okay. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Yeah. Click on? Yeah. Click, uh, click on. Okay. You, you, like you click. Okay, click yeah. on the button. Okay, click the on button or click the off button, right? So then this is... The off, okay. Remember that, you know, the, the, the language is, is increasing the vocabulary because new things appear in technology. Of technology. Uh -huh, exactly. <laughs> So then the vocabulary has increased a lot with the technology. Now we have computers, yeah, right. laptops, uh, you have uh, flash memories, you have uh, the mouse, the clicks, the right right, uh, right click, the left click, so a lot of vocabulary. The, the cloud. Aha, uh -huh, the cloud, exactly, right? The cloud, the, then, for example, the hard disk, then now you have the, you have the solid, I guess solid disk, hard disk, so the floppy disk, so many, mm. a lot of vocabulary. Okay, good.
Now we have Eric, we have Antonio here, Eduardo, and I did, right? Okay, good. So we're almost ready. Hey, Eric, how are you? Fine, fine, thanks. But well, sorry, you sorry. Yeah, because when I when I come to my house, I I was so tired, so I fell asleep. Sorry. No, it's okay, no problem. Hey, did you? Uh, are you working outside your house? Yeah, yeah, yeah. For me, those those uh, these things are that that we are happen here in the, the country. Uh, I didn't feel nothing change for me because I'm working. Okay, you have. I'm still working. Okay, you yeah, have yeah. out. Okay, you cannot you cannot work from from your house. No, uh, just two week, two days, but nothing else. Ah, okay, good. And tomorrow, are you going to work tomorrow? Because tomorrow yeah. is May the, May the 1st, no problem. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You yeah. work. Yeah. No holiday, no vacation. No. <laughs> well, I'm sorry, but anyways. It's, it's my sadly life. Yes. <laughs> It's your true, your true reality, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay, good. All right, good. And Eduardo, how are you, Eduardo? I am fine. Okay, good. How is everything at home? Yes, I am home now. Okay, good. Everything is okay, no problem. Yeah, all is okay, no problem. Okay. Thanks, I got. Near, uh, near San Salvador. No, I, I live in Chalatenango, oh, in Chalat here in the municipio de Tejutla. Ah, okay, good. Okay, great. How's the weather? Cold? Hot? Warm? Uh, in this moment, it's uh, a little cold, but uh, in the afternoon, sometimes it's a little hot. Ah, okay, good. It, it depends on the, on the hour of the day, right? In the sun. Yeah. Okay, good. All right, people. Uh, well, we have uh, it's almost nine or five, so we're gonna start with the. Uh, uh, let me see. We wanna start with the. Uh, review win. Tener una 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 satisfacción, pero. Okay, so we're gonna start reviewing the, um, the knowledge check, right, that we said. This is the first one, I guess, right? Yes. It's, yes, it's, the, it's, yes, it's, the, it's the, first, the first one. Okay, good. So then uh, we have here some uh, uh, instructions, right? That say, uh, let me see. I think, can you read the instructions here, please? Look at the following picture, then complete the request with this word. Okay, well, it says, uh, look at the following pictures, then complete the request. And here it says, with these words. Okay. So we have the the books, right? The toys, the radio, your jacket, the TV. Uh, we have your, your boots, okay? See the difference, for example, the books with K, books and boots, okay? Don't confuse. The yard, the light, the trash, and the dog, okay? Now, let's see. Now we have to look at the following pictures, then complete the request here. Okay. Now, let me see if we can make it a little bit bigger. Okay, the first one. Pick up what? The toys. The? Toys. 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 Okay, we'll see. Are you sure? 
Okay, what about the next yeah. one? Turn off. The lights. The lights. lights. Turn off what? The lights. The lights. The lights, right? Turn off the lights, okay. We have turn off. Turn, okay, it's so only off. Okay, off. Turn off the lights. Clean up. The yard. The yard. Clean the up yard. the yard. Okay, clean up the yard. Okay, clean up the yard. Clean the yard. Up, separated. No problem. Remember that you here you can say clean the yard up, or you can use also say clean up the yard. No problem. Okay. You can use the two forms, and the two forms are correct. Okay. Well, the next one. Please put away. Put away. Put the books away. Books put away. the books away. What is put the books away? What is put away? Away and your books. Uh -huh, the books. What is what is the meaning of in, in English, right? In English. Uh, okay, so put, sorry. Put away, put away. Uh -huh. Put in another place. Yeah. But in what place? Um, or maybe in the same place, but in, in order. Mm, no. Or, no. Or into your backpack? In the backpack, right? Oh, okay. Example, this is to put the, the objects. Save it. Where they belong. Where they belong. Or right? library. And uh, uh -huh, could be, for example, on the shelf, on the, on the shelf, right? Uh -huh. shelf, okay. The bookshelf. Okay, you can be there, put it away. It could be your backpack, okay? Uh, it could be the drawer of your desk, okay? If you have money, where do you put the money? Where do you put the money away? In your house, okay? Probably in the, in your pocket, okay? In the wallet. Or in your wallet, or in your purse, or in your handbag, okay? That is put away. Like, like Eric says, put it, in a safe place, okay. In the safe place, in the safe. yes. In the uh -huh. Uh -huh. So the, also, the safety box that you might have in your house. Yeah. Okay. The next one is, please turn that or, or under 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 the colchon, right? Under the mattress. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> the money. Uh -huh. Okay. Please turn down your right. boots. Turn down the radio. The radio. the radio, okay. Turn on the radio. Oh, yeah, I have turned right. out the radio because they, according to this image, okay, according to this image, you can see that the volume, the volume is very high, right? Yeah. Okay, so then turn down the radio. Okay. The radio. I put what? the TV in um? angle. Which one? The TV, the TV, I the, put TV. the TV. Wait a minute. Uh, answer is correct for me. Um, I could, let me see the TV. So I can see it. Wait a minute. Because I have this. Is the TV on? TV is on. Yes, right? It could be, right? Yeah. Probably the ball. Turn down. Let's check. Let's check with, uh, no. with the sound. TV. Um, okay, and um, please take off your boots. Take off your boots. Take off your boots. Your boots. Okay, good. A uh, hand. Your jacket. Your jacket. Your jacket. Your, your jacket. jacket. Uh -huh, your jacket. Right? In, the, in the closet, right? Yeah. yeah. And your jacket okay up please please take out the trash the trash okay the trash okay please take out the trash the trash okay good and the other one the the dog. Please, the let, please the let the dog out. Please let the dog, uh, let out. The dog out. Who let the dogs out? 
<laughs> yes, crying. Who? Who? Huh? Who? 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 Barking, barking. Please let the dog out. And the last one, turn. Turn the TV. On the TV. Turn on the TV. Turn on the TV. The TV. The TV. Okay, turn. Turn on the TV. Okay. You ready? Yes. Let's see. Yes. Show answers and see what happens. Okay. Let's confirm. Okay, the toys. That's correct. Okay. The turn. Oh, I made a mistake here. When I write, sorry, this is my mistake. Uh, the radio or the TV or the lights. Light. Uh, okay. Here you have two, three yes. options. I made a mistake. I put the. <laughs> yes, I put no. I put the preposition here. No, this is the second one. Okay, you can use the radio, the the thing, the TV, the or the lights. The light. Yes, I, I instead of putting the, you say the lights. For example, Caroline, uh, Veronica told me, the lights, and I yes. wrote off. Okay. And then uh, clean the yard. We were okay. Uh, we have uh, put away the books. Okay, the books, the toys, the right. jacket. Three possibilities. Okay, if you have the books, the toys, or your jacket, they are correct. In this case, we have the books. Uh, turn down the radio, the TV. Okay, uh, Ronnie, you wrote the TV, right? Yes. Okay, so the two were the two are correct. The radio or the TV. And your boots, only the boots. Uh, your jacket, only the jacket. And then we have the trash. Okay. And then we have the dog. And then we have the three possibilities, right? The radio, the TV, or the lights. So turn on, okay, or turn off. Okay. So these are, for example, from the pictures, these are the objects or things that can be turned on right for example in here yes. you see uh, for example the books cannot be turned on the toys cannot well the toys only if they have batteries right they can be turned on but in this case they, they see they look they look they let me say they seem to be simple toys the radio can be on the jacket cannot be on or probably if you put it on on your body but the TV yeah. and the lights, okay? Three, these three objects, okay? These three objects here can be, uh, can be on. Uh, yes? The same functions. Uh-huh, yes. This is, okay, questions? No, no questions in this moment? No. no. Question. Clear with the, with the meaning and use of turn on, turn off, pick up, okay? clean up. Remember that you can say clean the yard, clean the house, but when you say clean up, it's like a little bit more emphatic, right? They clean up the room. Okay, we're going to see the... the Sorry, teacher. Yes? Um, what is the difference of saying just clean and clean up, you say? Hey, clean up sounds with more emphasis, right? Okay. Say tomorrow I will clean the, uh, I will clean my bedroom. I say, no, I, then you say I have to clean it up. Okay, it sounds like really oh. clean it, right? Oh, okay. It sounds, you know, like like a deep, deep clean up, mm -hmm. right? And okay. it sounds more superficial. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah, well, here we have this one, we saw it already. Okay, this is the other one, right? And this is the second uh, knowledge check that you were supposed to do. We have to answer six questions here, okay. Good. Okay. Uh, can you listen? Okay. Yes, okay, please read these instructions. Instruction, match the request with the appropriate response. Okay, good. Ronnie, read the first question, please. Okay. 
Would you lend me twenty dollar teacher? Of course. <laughs> <laughs> okay, sure, Ronnie, no problem. Okay, would you lend me twenty dollars? Send me send me send me for WhatsApp. No, uh, <laughs> Tigo money. What is? <laughs> can you use Tigo money for that? Yes, we can use Tigo money. Also, okay, or send send me your book account yes. number and ping. Mm -hmm. Okay, <laughs> and and I will make the and I will oh. deposit the money. Okay, what is the what is that? Account? Your book book account. No, your saving account. Oh, okay. Saving account. <laughs> uh, saving, account no. saving. saving account. No, the book, uh, you, the book account is the, the, the paper one, but in this case, it's only the number. Okay, okay, okay. Maybe all right. Account number. Okay, good. Now, what is the possible answer okay. here? Could you lend me $20? We're sorry. Uh, I, I'm uh, sorry. I sorry, I'm busy. No, I'm just I joking. Choose. Are you kidding? Are you kidding? Are you kidding? I, I, don't I don't have any cash. cash. I don't have Are any you cash. kidding? I don't have any cash. Okay. Are you kidding? Cash. I don't have any cash. Well, this is the, the answer in this moment, right? Are you kidding, yeah. Ronnie? Yes. I don't, I, don't, I don't have any cash in this moment. Well, I don't have any money. <laughs> Not even in the bank. Okay. <laughs> okay. So they say, I'm really? really? Nah. <laughs> yes, yeah, really. Nah. Okay, just kidding. I'm really, he said, I am kidding. Okay, I am kidding. I'm really, I'm really sorry, but I'm busy. Sure, no problem. I'd be glad. To. Yes. That could be another one. Sure, no problem. I will, I'll be glad. Uh -huh. to. This could be another possibility. This, this is another option. Yes, this is another option. It doesn't say the two options, but we're going to mark both. Okay. Okay. No. Okay. Good, good, good. Next one. Can you get me a sandwich? Okay. Possible answer. I am really sorry, but I am busy. Okay, mm -hmm. I am really sorry. Okay. Yeah. And again, the last one could be also. Oh, sure, no problem. problem. I'll be glad to. Yes, yeah. that, that, that will match for all of them. Sure, no problem. Uh -huh. I'll be glad to. That was very formal. But, uh -huh. Next one. Okay, George Mendoza, can you read the next question? Three. Yeah, yes. Can you okay. help me? Can you help me move to new to my new house? Sorry. Can you help me move move to my new house? Okay. Good. Possible answer, guys. Sure. No problem. Sure. No problem. Sure. 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 No problem. Sure. No problem. And this one. I'm really sorry, but yes, that is another option. It could be. All right. Yes, the other option. Are you kidding? No. 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 Just take that. No. Okay, good. And would you mind not sitting here? Okay, good. Sorry, what? sorry. Sorry, I didn't, I didn't realize the seat was taken. Sorry, I didn't. Okay, I sorry. The seat was taken. I didn't realize the seat was taken. Okay. Could you move? your car from my space? Sure. Uh, sorry, I'll do it right I'll away. Do it right away. Sure, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Oh yes, the second, right? I'm this sorry, one, I'll one. do it right away. Okay, Evelyn, read the number six. Evelyn. No? Okay, then uh, Xiomara, read the number six, please. Hey, could you mo six, would you mind not talking so loudly? Okay, good. Okay, guys, what's the answer? Would you mind not talking so loudly? We're sorry. sorry. We'll talk more so quietly. We'll talk more quietly. We'll talk more quietly. Okay. Good. Okay. So I think there was one answer for each one, but in some of them, uh, also there are, there might be two, right? Okay. But now just let's uh, look at the questions because this is very important. Also, right? See, like, could you lend me? Right? This is you know a polite request a nice way to ask for 
for something for a favor, right? So that you can say, could you, could you lend me $20? Uh, can you get me a sandwich? Okay. Can you get me a sandwich? This is more, let's say, uh, with someone that you have more, uh, let's say, uh, more, uh, let's say, uh, is close to you, right? A friend, um, uh, your brother, your sister, your wife, your husband, okay? Say, can you get me a sandwich? Mm -hmm. uh, can you help me move to my new house? Also, you know, you can ask this to a friend, right? Or a, fa a family member. This one is more formal. And this is what I want to emphasize, right? In negative form. Would you mind not sitting here? Remember that you don't say wouldn't. Wouldn't you mind, right? Is the negative question is, would you mind not sitting there? Okay. Would you mind not uh, eating my fruit? Okay. Would you mind not drinking my beer? Okay. Now, would you mind not, uh, what? Not Let me money? Uh, not, <laughs> no. Uh, would you mind? Okay, yes. No. Would you mind not? Would you mind not to spend my money? Uh, not spending. Not spending. My money. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Would you mind not spending my money? Would you mind not uh, uh -huh. not spending my money? You can tell that to your husband or to your wife or to your children. Okay. Would you mind not eating my sandwich? Exactly right. Would you mind not? Uh -huh. uh, okay. Would you mind not? Uh, let's say uh, getting so, now. Some people, some people do it in the street, right? Would you mind not getting so close? Okay. Would you mind not getting so close? It's Would a nice way to. Uh huh. Getting my cell phone. Exactly yeah. right. Would you mind not getting my cell phone? Would you mind? Would you mind not taking my cell phone without Thank my authorization? You. Also, it's another right. You can say, uh, "Would you mind not uh, listening to music too loud?" You see. You know, Would you mind turning the the TV down? Would you mind? Do you mind turning the TV down? Exactly, right? Would you mind? In this case, you can use, for example, um, the, an affirmative, right? Would you mind turning the TV down? Okay, because it's too loud. Teacher, oh, yes. um, sometimes I used to uh, hear when they say just, do you mind? Oh, yes. Uh -huh. but, but in that case, I think it's not that polite. I mean, I don't know. Or, or if because someone is like upset about something. No, I mean, it's, no, no. someone is annoying or something and, and they, people say, hey, do you mind? Do you, like mind? Saying, no, do you mind is like, no, do you mind is if, I'm asking you, do you mind if I, for example, uh, suppose that we are uh, in, a, there are four or five people in the same room, okay? And I okay. smoke. Okay. And then I say, do you mind if I, do you mind if I smoke here? Uh, okay. And they say, no, no problem, not at all. So in that case, it's different that using would you mind. It's for exactly. different scenarios. Uh, no, uh, I mean, it's, uh, for, uh, yes, actually, yes. In the other one, it's not different scenario, but it's a different way to ask. Because okay. In, in the, when you say, do you mind if I smoke here, you are asking the person if my action will make him or her uncomfortable. Feel uncomfortable, correct. Right. Oh, okay. And in the All case right. of, for example, that is, and in the in the other case, is an, and this one is also polite. Suppose that the person is a smoking next to you, and you feel bad about it, then you say, "Hey, would you mind not smoking here, please? Because okay. you know I'm sick, or mm -hmm. or the smoke affects my lungs, or whatever, right?" But you say, "Would okay. you mind not smoking?" So you see different ways to say it, but you can use it in the same scenario, right? For example, teacher, when you you, you you use who when you don't know the people that you are uh -huh. talking. Yes. And, and if you know the people, you have more uh, you are close close, to, close Yes, exactly. With, uh, exactly. With yes. People, no? Remember that in the family, for example, or with friends, uh -huh. you know, hey, uh, in, even with friends, we use like, like a very informal way. We use uh, uh, imperative verbs. We say, for example, hey, don't smoke, hey, don't smoke here. Hey, okay? stop. Like, hey, don't put stop. your don't put your feet on the table, right? And then you, you say that, you know, to, to your friends, okay? 
But in, it's for somebody that you don't know, and then probably in a restaurant say, hey, would you mind not putting your uh, your feet on the chair, right? Mm -hmm. So then it would, it would be a little bit more more polite. Yes? Okay, yes. good. But oh, let's see the answer. Let's see the, let's see the answers. Let's see the answers and see what they say, okay? So the number, the number six here, would you mind not talking so loudly? It says, okay, we're sorry, we'll talk more quietly. Okay, see also, very nice answer, right? Uh, the other one is, uh, could you move your car from my space? Say, I'm sorry, I'll do it in this moment, right away, immediately, okay? And the other one is? Sorry. Okay, hey, would you, would you mind not sitting here? Sorry, I didn't realize the seat was vacant. Okay. The other one is, sure. No problem. I'd be glad to. Okay, can you help me? Okay, can you help me uh, move to my new house, right? Okay, this one, but also this one is also well, acceptable, right? And the third teacher, you can also say, you can also use could. The third can you help me move? Oh, yes, yes. No, no, no. Yes. I'm the talking question. about the, the, question. the question, right? The question. Yes. Could you help me move to the new house? Yes. Okay. You, know, you can use wood, right? If you want to be very polite with a friend, you know, like, hey, it's strange. And I know with a friend, you say, hey, would you, mind, <laughs> would you mind helping me move to my new house? Okay. Sometimes we do it in Spanish, right? Sometimes we do it. Right, so then we use a very try. We try to be very nice when we we really need when we really need a favor, right? So that the people can see that we are asking in a very polite way, right? Yeah. Uh, then the other one is: Can you can you get me a sandwich? I'm really sorry, but I'm busy, right? Also, this one, if it's an affirmative send, uh, answer, you can say, sure, no problem, I'd be glad. But in this case, they have chosen this because they want to practice all the possible answers. Okay. Teacher, I have a question. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Using a uh, can, um, it will be, will it be correct to say, um, can, uh, can you, for the example number three, can you help me moving or can you help me move into my new house or something like that? No. No, in this case, can you like, help me? Uh, if you say, would you mind? In that case, yes. In that case, can be the ING. Otherwise, yes. it's, it's, it's not appropriate. Uh -huh. Only if you use this. this uh -huh. Oh, okay. Yes, All in right. this case, it's very right. big, Can you help me move? Okay. Now, okay. you can. what you can do here, what you can use here is, can you help me like, to move? You can add two here, right? Oh, okay. And that would be okay. correct. Okay, but all right. moving, no. Okay. No, all right. All right, got it. Okay, good. Thank you. Can you get me a sandwich? Okay, and the number one. Okay, no, could you lend me $20? Are you kidding? I don't have any cash. Okay? Okay. Good. Okay, that's nice because you, you had the answers, and then you, we can also see that there is one. One answer here that could be in one, two, three, three, three more. Okay. In this first three questions, this could be two possibilities. It's a little bit ambiguous. Okay, good. No questions? No questions. Okay, good. Now let's see the next one. Next. Then we have a Okay, this is where we were doing in the reading yesterday, right? So right now I want to, um, I will show you, okay, the idea here, it says in this class you will need, you will develop a skills in guessing meaning from context, right? Remember that in, when we read, there are uh, strategies, right? Uh, what are some of the strategies that you remember or that you Stra apply, that you use? Strategies. Uh, strategies for reading. Uh -huh. mm. For example, reading, uh -huh. reading twice, two tw twice to under understand what uh, what is saying in the text. Okay, that could be one personal strategy. But for example, one strategy when you, is uh -huh. when you say two words like together, 
-hmm. like cutting like um, cutting instead of saying instead of saying cut it off saying like cut it off or something like that no. could that be a strategy or or i don't know what you're no in this case it's say. something let me see if i can try to to understand For example, that suppose that we say um a infer you know what infer is no no okay sometimes we read okay but then what you read you have to interpret the reading okay mm -hmm. infer is like read between the lines okay you got it okay. yeah yes okay that is unfair that is an inspiring getting the the most unfair. important words uh -huh, right? exactly right for example then you read something and then you said mm, okay you cannot see that is literally literally written but you can you can deduce what the writer is trying to tell you okay yes. mm -hmm. so this is one there is another one that is a scan a scan a scan okay a scan is look for uh, uh, let's see uh, look for a specific yes a specific let me see a specific uh, ideas words 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 or or phrases, okay, or or information. Let's say, yes. Okay, for example, suppose that if you are interested in reading, in reading the news in this moment, in the newspaper, mm -hmm. uh, suppose that uh, you, bo you, you bought a lottery ticket, right? Okay, mm -hmm. then you buy the newspaper. Okay. Okay. okay, and when you get the You're when you get to the page, a... when you get to the page of the lottery uh, lottery with all the winning numbers, then you start scanning the page with your eyes. Yeah. Okay, mm -hmm. and see if you can find the number of your ticket the winner. that matches uh -huh, that matches yeah. with, with the, the numbers in the page. Okay, that is a scan. Okay. Mm. That is another reading strategy. We do, we do this when we take an exam, okay? What do you do when you take an exam? You read the question and after that? Write the answer. Uh -huh, but you have to, well, if you have a paragraph, okay? A reading comprehension, right? You have the paragraph. A mark. And then you have the question. What do you do? You read the question and then do you read all the paragraphs? To look those uh, sometimes to look those specific words on the question exactly. in the paragraph. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. And then you start looking. That for will be scanned. Uh -huh. Scanned so the uh, 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 Who for the word information? And then you start looking for that information in the paragraph. You don't read all the paragraph. Okay. Mm -hmm. You just look for the information that matches the question with the information that you have in the paragraph. So that is a strategy to read quickly and not to re not to lose time okay mm -hmm. and another one is a skim there are like nine or ten okay this one's is just for you to give you a context but we want to study this ones we're going to study the the uh, vocabulary through context the skim what is a skim skim the skim is you do this when you read the newspaper when you read the newspaper what do you do tell me what you do On the pages. Find the pages. Select the information that you can uh, want to read. How? How do you do that? Find the sections. Uh huh. And how? You go. Read the uh, the head terms. The, head, the, head, no, the, the headlines. The headlines. Right. The headlines. The headline. the head Exactly right. You go page by page, and then you you read the headlines, right? Yes. And you, when you read the headlines, in, in it's that, not headers. Head, the, teacher, um, Teach, headers and headlines are, are the same thing. 
Mm, no, I, I, headlines are for newspapers, like the titles of the news. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Thanks. Okay, so they say the headlines are the first lines about the news where you have like the main idea, right? And then mm -hmm. you read the headline, and it's okay. that headline is what you're looking for or gets your attention, okay? And then uh, you start reading more, okay? We only, we only, with the headlines or with the skimming, we only read the title, the headline, mm -hmm. and then we create an idea about it. Yeah. After that, we read, and probably we discover that it's not exactly what we expected. And then we stop reading the news and we continue, right? But sometimes, you know, it is exactly what we are looking for, okay? So uh -huh. the difference of scanning and skimming will be that scanning, I'm actually looking for a specific word or something exactly. like that. But, uh -huh. but skimming, I'm just checking. Exactly. What is uh -huh. just what checking. is a topic for, for from a topic from interest to me? Exactly, or something. right? It's, it's more general, okay? Mm, okay? More general. It's a more general, uh, let's say, uh, search. Okay. Good. Mm -hmm. And the and the one that we're going to see now is vocabulary. Vocabulary through. Yes, uh, this is through. Sorry. Through context. This happens in Spanish too, right? That sometimes we are reading a paragraph and then we, we find a word that we don't know, a new word. But we don't have to go to the dictionary all the time, right? And then sometimes we have to guess. And then how do you guess the meaning of, uh, of words in Spanish when you don't know the, the word? Mm. How do you do? Reading the context. Uh -huh. You read the context, that's right, okay? Yeah. You read one or two lines before or one line after, and you can find sometimes synonyms, okay? Or you can find the explanation of the word, okay, in the same paragraph, okay? Good. So now let me, uh, I will show you a video, okay? I will show you a video, and then... Here. Let me hide this one because okay, can you see it? Can you see it? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Uh -huh. Uh, but you can see the writing too, right? Yes. Okay, good. Now you don't. Hey. <laughs> We're having a an issue problem here with the um, technical issues. Yes. <laughs> yes, it's it's a stock, it's frozen. Too much information for the computer. <laughs> right now it's like you know, like thinking. Okay, so then, uh, for example, you say vocabulary in context for for anyone, and then uh, this is a very short video. And so let me go back to the um,
try to put it again. Yeah, that's what I'm doing, but it doesn't, uh, the, the menu, it's like it's stuck. Okay. So, try to refresh. Um, With the keyboard, maybe. I don't know if it's gonna take me out of the, of the station. Mm. No. You will have to open another. I can see you. You can see. You can see the screen, right? Yeah. Yes. Okay, and you can see me too. Yes. Yeah. So then, yes, the only problem that we have. Can you see the, this dictionary? What? What do you see on the screen now? Can you see the dictionary? The vocabulary in context no, just for the, anyone. The YouTube screen and, and your screen. Yeah. Okay, yes. Yeah, I think it's, uh, well, something happened with the, with the computer. And I think the problem is, the, is with, uh, with Zoom. Okay, I got it back. When, okay. when you try to open another tab. Okay, now I got it, okay. We did it. Okay, here we go. Okay, can you listen? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Okay, I guess it's, it's going too fast, right? Uh, for example, mm -hmm. it's figuring out. Okay. okay, the idea of vocabulary to context is to, to solve, to find out the meaning of words that we don't know, okay? Mm -hmm. Using context. Okay, this is what you were saying, right? Context, what is the context? Context is the words that surround the, the word that we don't know, okay? The previous, the previous words and the words that are after, okay? That is the context, okay? Okay, this is the first tip, right? Look for synonyms, okay? What is a synonym? A word that means the same. For example, gorgeous and beautiful. Okay, mm -hmm. gorgeous, beautiful, or oh, very pretty, okay, are synonyms. Look for nearby words that may mean the same thing as an unknown word. Okay, synonyms that are near, before or after, okay? Okay, sorry, sorry. Okay, the beautiful girl is knew she was gorgeous. Mm -hmm. Okay, so the beautiful girl knew she was beautiful. Okay, mm -hmm. so you don't repeat the same thing, right? It's so redundant. Uh, yes, uh -huh, exactly, right? So, but in this case, you, you're saying that she is beautiful and she knows it. Okay, she was beautiful mm -hmm. and she knew it in past tense. 
So gorgeous and beautiful are synonyms. Look for nearby words that may mean the same. So if you don't know the meaning of gorgeous, it's beautiful. You can okay. use beautiful, okay. Mm -hmm. Like contrast clue. Contrast clue is the, the opposite of synonym. What is the opposite of a synonym? An antonym. An antonym. An antonym. Antonym. Okay. Okay. Contrast or antonym, a word that means the opposite. For example, tumult and calm are opposites. Okay, you know what uh, what happened in the Senate is, uh, some weeks ago, it was a tumult of people, right? Mm -hmm. But then after that, yes. when, when they gave the correct information, hmm. everything was calm. That looks like the same word in Spanish, just with the with the O at the end, right? Exactly. Tumult. Uh -huh. Exactly. <laughs> yes. And then that is the name. Okay, this also happened, right? After facing the tumult of the black people's sales, the chauffeur longed for a calm lunch. Okay, Do you know the meaning of long in this case? No. No? Longed. No, I don't. That's new for me. Okay, don't, 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 don't Google it, okay? Don't Google it. I will give you an example. Okay. I, I will give you an example. Uh, suppose you say, uh, okay, in this moment, everybody is longing for going, the supermarket. Out, for going out and spend a day out of the house. Oh. Okay. It's many people like wait are, it's like a long time many people is anxiously anxiously okay a longing for a day out of the house like getting in line no or no it's when you want, when you want something or with all your your force right with all your strengths, uh -huh, exactly. When you are, okay. when you are you're wishing, wishing you're, uh -huh. you're wishing, you're wishing desperately to to something or to exactly. someone or, or something. Or something. Okay. okay, that's the long. Long for a calm lunch. Okay, so then, for example, the long for a for a going for a day out of the house. Yes, who spoke? It's for example, smile and cry. Smile. And cry. Those are antonyms. Right. Uh -huh, like antonyms. Uh huh. Yes, yes, that's an antonym, Evelyn. You smile. Yes. And, yeah, an antonym for that is cry. Or you smile. Uh -huh. Cry. Uh -huh. Uh -huh, and sad. To be sad, right? Happy and sad. Mm -hmm. Okay, so those are contrasts. Yes. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, what is clues? Clues. Pistas. Okay. This is for example, but there are different pistas, right? In Spanish. Okay, clue, in this kind of, this is clue, okay? Clue when you want to discover something, right? Like a detective, okay? But pista de aterrizaje is different in Spanish. In Spanish is the same word, right? Pista. But in English, you have different meanings, okay? Pista de aterrizaje in English is? Runway. Runway. Okay. And pista de baile? Dance floor. Dance floor or dance truck, okay? Dance what? Truck, truck, truck. Truck. Or truck, uh -huh. for example, if you have a, for example, pista de música, it's a soundtrack. Okay. Sounds soundtrack. Soundtrack. Okay. Oh, so you see, okay. in Spanish we use the same word, but in English uh, there are different words for that. Okay. 
Yes. Okay. But, so dance uh, track is a synonym of a dance floor. Uh -huh. Yes, it's a synonym. Okay. Yes. Okay, good. Okay, here it says uh, search for some, uh, let's say, uh, words that can be similar, right? Okay, sometimes the context will include uh, an example that makes the meaning of the unknown word clear. Example, you probably figure out that atrocious, atrocious. Okay, means really bad. Look for possible examples near the unknown word. What, is that, what are examples uh, for possible meanings about atrocious? Something that is atrocious. Mm -hmm. okay, well. Yep. Her atrocious day included getting a speeding ticket, failing a test, and losing her keys. Losing her keys. Oh. Okay. That was a terrible. It's something, day. something bad or, or terrible, huh? Okay. Teacher. Yes. I have, I, have, I have a question. Sorry. Uh -huh. I have heard some somebody says uh, ter terrific mm -hmm. for for talk about something beautiful or yes. great. Yes. Don't and uh, don't confuse terrible and terrific. Right? Terrific. Mm, uh -huh. If you that's... say, for example, you can tell a person, "Hey, you look," especially if you tell a lady, "You look terrific." Okay, it means nice. Mm -hmm. It means uh -huh. good. Beautiful. Right? Excellent. It Beautiful. means to amazing. Uh -huh, exactly, right? But it's another way to say, okay, terrific. But don't confuse it. Hey, you look terrible trying to say terrific. Because if you say terrible, that is literally bad, very bad. <laughs> so you have to be careful. You want to be nice and say, hey, you look terrible. Hey, huh. I don't know, Jennifer. And then, uh, Jennifer, what? Okay, no. Yeah. You look terrific. Yes. Okay, so it's different. It's an expression that they use for terrific. You uh, also, uh, there is a word that they say awfully, awfully good. Okay, awful is terrible, right? The coffee, the coffee is awful, it's terrible, bad taste. But when you say, hey, this coffee is awfully good, it means really, really, really good. Okay, so these are like negative expressions to say something is really very nice. But these are idiomatic, like idiomatic expressions, right? Okay. This is what I was telling you, right? Make an inference. That's an educated guess. The instructor was flabbergasted. Flower gasped when a snowman walked Flower to her classroom. The classroom. Okay, you probably get mm -hmm. What is the meaning of flower gasped? In okay. Sounds like uh -huh. freaked out. Freaked out. Uh huh. Freak out, right? Like freak out. Imagine that in this moment in your house, you see a. Uh, uh, frosty coming into your house, <laughs> and you would be with it's very hot, and then and you look, and then in lockdown, quarantine, and then you say, hey, What is Frosty doing in my house? So you will be, you know, flower right? Come on and give me a hug, <laughs> <laughs> please. <laughs> please, yes, you say, Hold, hold me tight, <laughs> hold me tight. <laughs> yeah, it's very hot here, right? Yeah, good. Okay. This is important, right? Remember, look for synonyms. Uh, synonym clues, contrast clues, or synonyms, antonyms, or example clues for inferences, right? So these are the clues to try to guess meanings of uh, words when we are reading, right? Obviously, this technique or this strategy will work if in the text 
that you are reading, uh, there, are, there are not too many words that you don't know, okay? When there are too many words, then it's more difficult to apply this, this, uh, this strategy, right? In that case, it's better to use, to look for some, some keywords and use a dictionary, right? In case uh, you don't have a, a feature or something with you, right? In that case, if you are reading by yourself. Okay. Good. Okay, good. In this lesson, we'll be exploring how to identify the meaning of a word by using the sentence or passage that the word is located in. We will also explore the different types of context clues that authors use to help readers define words. Okay. I don't see. If we yes, no, this is, no, the, it is now our business. Yes, it's, no, it's, no, I, <laughs> the, the, <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> hey, 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 you continue with the next. Uh... I'm not a polite teacher. <laughs> <laughs> okay, can you see this one? No. 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 Okay, no. Uh -uh. All right. Yes. It's... No. Yes, it is. It is really different. <laughs> <laughs> it's because the. No, I forgot to stop the. I forgot to stop the, the YouTube uh, video and then continue with the next one. Okay, good. Uh, now I want you to take a look at this reading, okay, what we were reading yesterday. Okay, and try to answer this. Can you see this in your computer? Yes. No, but in, yeah. in your reading. Yeah. Can, you, can you answer this yeah. at this moment? Yes. Okay, yes. but don't, I mean, just read in your computer and we're going to, to, answer, to answer the questions here, right? Let me see here. Okay, good. Now, <clears throat> what is the meaning of resentment? Resentment, when the, the anger that okay. grows over time. Oh? The anger that grows over oh. time. Yes. Anger that the, grows. The second one. The, the second, second one. one. Yes, everybody? Yes. Yes. Correct. yes. Okay, if you don't agree, let me know, okay? No problem. You are free to be against deliberately deliberately on purpose on purpose on purpose, on purpose. On purpose. On purpose. okay yeah, purpose. okay this is when we do when do this when we do this because we really want to do it right uh -huh. when you are yeah, intentional in with all the intention to do it irritate yeah. mm -hmm. Bother or hand. Bother or annoy. Bother or annoy. Bother or annoy here. Yeah. Okay. Remember yeah. that we also use sometimes irritate, you know, when when we try to express that we have some fever, right? Okay, so when we have some tem a problem with the temperature, in Spanish we use irritate too. Okay, measure. A way a of behaving. A step, step, a step, step taking. In order to a step taken to achieve something. A step taken in order to achieve something. Okay. Yeah. This is, for example, when we need to to set up to set up some um, some rules. Okay, some uh, goals, right? So then there are some measures to reach to reach that goal. A manner. Money. A way yeah, of behaving. Money. Okay, a way of behaving, right? For example, yeah. uh, remember that when it's, uh, we, ha we always have to practice, you know, uh, good manners, right? It is very important that we always uh, uh, ask things in a very polite way, okay? So then this is, you know, important, good manners. Result? And a problem or difficulty. And a problem? Yeah. Yes. Difficulty. Yes. Okay, good. 
now. Let's see. Let's see how good we are. Okay. We are. Excellent. Yeah. We're the best. Okay. Yes. Yes. There you go. And there you go. Okay. Okay. So then now you have this. Uh, you can add. You know this uh, vocabulary to your to your knowledge, right? So that now you know. Okay. I'm sorry, uh, teacher. I didn't understand about measure. Uh -huh. It's a way of behaving. It's a way of behaving. Mm, no. Or, um, or um, what was the, the correct answer? A measure is, for example, when, when you decide to do mm -hmm. it. For example, if suppose that uh, your neighbors are making too much noise, right? Mm -hmm. and, and it's been like that for for over a month, but you don't, okay. you haven't, you haven't done anything yet. Okay. Okay. But then you say, okay, but no, this is too much. I have to do something. And then mm -hmm. what, what you're going to do to stop oh, that, those are the okay. measures. Those are the it measures. happens, it, it, it's like in Spanish, the same word means for two different things. In this case, it's the same, right? Uh -huh, exactly. Like me exactly. measurement and, and measure is like exactly. taking some, Okay, all right. Okay, all right. Yeah, for, Thank example, you very you know, much. for example, security measures. Mm -hmm. Okay, in this case, is, for okay. example, one of them can be like, like I guess Veronica said last night, call the cam. Mm -hmm. Okay, call the cam. And uh -huh. then the all right. So that could be, uh, they, there can be drastic measures or probably not so drastic, right? It depends mm -hmm. on, the, on the problem that we have. Okay. Okay. If the problem is big, then probably you need to take, you know, the measures okay. that you're going to take are like that. Thank you. Okay. All right, guys. You're welcome. Now, let me see now. Okay, we have. Okay, the other one is. Okay, this is now the. The section two, right? So that was the end of uh, the section one. Uh, in the next one, for the next one we have, in this class you will practice infinitives and gerunds, okay? So this is, yeah. this is another, okay. This, uh, this other um, uh, section is similar to, to the phrasal verb, right? It's not difficult or complicated to understand it. The, the let's say the, the the theory right but the practice because there are a lot of verbs to the vocabulary is very 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 let's say uh, extends the, that you have to practice in this in this section i will uh, i will send you uh, through your whatsapp probably tomorrow some information that i have okay so that you can review it before the class that we have on monday okay Remember that, uh, okay, so then uh, um, next, so that you can uh, have some information before before we begin this unit, okay, or well, this section, because it's, the, the vocabulary is, is quite a lot, right? Okay, any questions? Mm, no. No? No question. Okay, for the, for the moment, everything as clear as the night. Yes. yes. As clear as uh, their chapter too, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, good. All right. Okay, people. So then uh, that's all for now. I will see you on Monday, right? Monday. Monday. Yes. Have a very nice uh, weekend. May God bless you. Really? Okay. Take care. Long weekend, huh? Uh, well, for some people, yes. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> for, some for example, Eric has to work tomorrow, right? So Eric. Sorry, yeah. Eric, for you. Sorry. Yeah, me too. <laughs> me too. I'll, I'll have to work tomorrow. Who? Uh, Kevin. Me? Okay. Yeah. Okay. There's uh, only Ronnie. Ronnie works only so, only Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday, for, three days a week. For 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 me, is, tomorrow is vacation. Yeah. You see? yeah. <laughs> Enjoy. Yeah.
Okay, tomo it tomorrow night. Into the water, but I, I have it working <laughs> on Saturday. Okay. Oh, you I'm have back. To oh, you have to. <laughs> yes. Oh, you, 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 you didn't have the, the bridge. No bridge. Uh -huh, you, I, I interrupted. <laughs> yeah, so, uh, I'm, I'm a poor. I'm poor. I, I have to work to eat. <laughs> You know, uh, Ronnie, why do you want so much money? Stop working for a day. Huh? <laughs> I can hear you. <laughs> You're so yeah, wealthy. It's more than a thousand dollars a day, so then that's why he doesn't. Wow. Stop. Yeah, no, yeah, no Ronnie. Making a lot of money. <laughs> huh? nah, no. Traveling from. from I, a, I'm a poor. I'm a, yeah, a poor guy. You're a poor guy. Okay, good. <laughs> okay. I'm a, I You're a, love, uh, I'm It's humble. Okay. I yes, to, to man. <laughs> if, if, Ronnie, if, if that is being poor, I want to be poor too. <laughs> I wish, can you, can, I wish can you I lend were... me some poverty? Yes, yes. Can you share that poverty with us? <laughs> I wish I were. I, I wish I were as poor as you. Man, but, oh, someday I will. Someday I will. I will reach. I will reach that level. <laughs> <laughs> okay guys okay have a good night uh, i study right. english i study english for for have being rich just, <laughs> just for fun have a good night okay take care you guys good night. on monday careful everybody don't go out <laughs> yeah nobody want to leave yes <laughs> okay see you guys